All right, everybody, welcome to another layout video. This one is a tour, as you can see, and this is Mr. Nolan's HO scale layout. So, I right, walk in the door, you've got Arch Bridge, a solid car track, but this is what you see. So, um, this is an older layout, it was DC, it's been converted to DCC. And Rich and I are basically in the middle of retrofitting it, replacing a lot of the track, getting fixing the kinks, tweaking the wiring, moving the power districts around. And the intent is to do that so that eventually uh, we can do signals on here and have operations. So, but um, this is supposed to be downtown Nashville. And eventually there will be a, a Y connection there and we'll redo a bunch of this track work. But this is going to have a roundhouse. Turntable's already in there. Then this original section was built in 1986, I believe it was. And you can probably tell because the scenery looks really, really faded out. But um, this is where we started. That track comes out there, and there's a turnout in there that's going to go, and it comes out over there. And there's a, a lift-out section that goes in there, but you can see he's left the old uh, control panels. All the turnouts are Atlas. He's reused a lot of it, so it's Atlas turnouts with the old slide knob uh, thing. That... But the control is NCE DCC. The whole layout is on one booster. Uh, and not the best power distribution as you can imagine. So we're in the process of tracing all the wiring. And then once we do that, we're going to take this very convoluted track plan, turn it into a basically straight line schematic, split the layout into two broad booster districts because he has in there SB5 we're going to put on here. And then on top of that, we will subdivide it as required into districts. But so this section right here, that industrial area is what I've been working on. You'll probably recognize at least part of this from one of the Atlas plans. Um, we're, we're still working on it. That engine shit goes there. And then you got to put a curve in and that coal tower, that coal company will go there. So. Uh, track just needs a good cleanup, but I mean, that's, you know, we're working. And it's just stuff like all this track has been replaced, the Y has been replaced. As you can see, the cork has been replaced as we come on around here. This is another section that's been done. Um, boards laid flat. Yeah, not not quite the best way of building this. But we're fixing it bit by bit. Uh, this section, all this is going to be torn out and completely redone. The stock pin is going to go where that turntable is. Um, the turntable is going to go out, going to be gone. And then the most of this track is going to be ripped up and replaced because a lot of this is brass. Ice track will stay where it is. But uh, you could fit two more yard tracks in there. So the plan is to basically turn this into the layout's main freight yard to work to do the freight trains for everything else. All that down there is passenger. This will be the main freight yard, and then that whole area over there will be storage for local, and that area over there will take the mainline power, freight and passenger. But um, we will get to that. The other thing we're waiting on is to get to this section right here. As you can see, you got a Y, you got that, and you got Tom Fuller, like, melting the plastic rail joiner. Uh, and when they did this, nobody documented the wiring, which, you know, Mr. Nolan told them, wire like with your own layout, which is fine. Just document the wiring, and they didn't do that. So we got to deal with that, too. But um, you can see there used to be a slot car track right there. We're going to try and reintegrate that and have it come across like so. But we will get to that. That's just ways off. So this whole junction is going to be rebuilt and then you can see you've got an air connector piece, that cork's got to be redone and that goes in the tunnel. 
and connects over there. I'm not going to try and tell you all the track plan because that's uh, it's convoluted. But this punches through the wall, and there's a whole lot more on the air side of the backdrop. We'll get to it. You got all this. Oh, he's got the just plug around here, as well as a bunch of older power packs for DC power. I am working on trying to get him to go ahead and put computer power supplies in and fix a lot of that. Um, this is honestly a pretty cool scene. It's just got to, you know, tweak it just a little bit. So, anyways, coming around here. Got all this. Uh, he's a huge l &M fan. And this is what I mean. Basically, there's a loop, and it loops around three times. It connects to itself. And that top loop here goes all the way around there. Goes down a hill with a 3% grade and pops out there, except it's facing point turn out, so you have to go around the loop, shoop, which isn't that good because that loop would be great for operations as a staging yard. Now, guys, so we are, we are working on the track plan, but... Um, and then you look down here, this is microengineering and it's just, I mean, you can see just a bunch of little kinks like this. We got to fix, uh, stuff like rail jointer feeders. We got to fix. So by the time, and Mr. Nolan and I were talking about it, by the time we fix the feeders and do the other stuff and yada, 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 we've touched probably 80% of the wiring on this layout. So if I told him, if you're really into operations, and he wants to have signals at some point. If you're really serious about retrofitting this, we might as well go ahead and just, you know, upgrade it, update it, redo the power district since we're going to be touching most of the wiring anyways and get it all, get it all fixed. So that's the plan for this. But, um, this whole thing here is going to be a steel facility. This is, you can tell, has to be completely reworked, but you got the middle peninsula. Around you've got a little town on the end. And like this whole thing here, there's one bus feeding all three of these. Well, if you want signals, we got to have three different buses. Um, I do know this middle track. It. This is a reverse loop in the middle right here. And it goes there. There's a staging track on the other side. Then it comes out on the, uh, upper, I think, comes around, goes through that industrial, and so on and so forth. Uh, there's a car float operation there, which is great for ops. I just got to, again, trace the wire and figure out where in the heck that track goes. But, so, this is, um... It's it's a very very much a very big work in the progress. But um get over here. We've got this. Uh and it's just I mean little stuff like this. You got a number six right, which is eh, it's good, but then they put a number four right and you get a really bad S curve. That needs to be replaced with number five left. Um this up here is pretty good. This is the other side of that loop so look schematically if you're looking at this schematically this would technically be staging this would be the end of the subdivision so that's where that goes and then down here you've got a couple industries you know gotta gotta redo the town there's just not room for a road so i got we gotta come in and redo that this is two stall engine house, which would be good. We could probably use this as the beginning of a helper district or something, which it's set up pretty decently. You got two signs, so you got a place to have trains pull in, tack on helpers. Then you got a car shot, which is industries. You've got a mountain, um, which we can't move. But the interesting thing is, you look behind it, and Oh, yes, there's a turnout, which goes into the loop, which comes over here, which comes there. And there's another turnout 
for those two tracks joined clear way, way down the back. You can't even see the darn thing. So there's um there's there's a there's some work to do. Some work to do, but um so this is uh this obviously you can tell we have got to fix this kink. This is may way too tight. Um that and freeway these tweak the position of some of these buildings um and whatnot i want to put a run around in here again for operations wise but got that we've got a little well i'll go on the other side to get that but come over here we've got a seaport town all this is hand laid. It's in rough. Uh, it does need the resin and all the scenery and some more detailing, but it's in here. And then you've got this whole thing which comes in here. Uh, this needs some work too, in my opinion. The roads are painted. We really need to come in here with some plaster and do a proper job of it. Then um, you got a nice little switching district in here. Yeah, these spurs could do some realignment. Like, I don't think you even need this one right here. That could become a runaround track. You get the gist of it. And then you can see this whole spaghetti mess back here. That ain't even lighted very well. But it goes through there. I mean... Yeah, that's bad. You do not want to do that at all. And then you got this, which got to figure out the scenery for that. Comes in. You got another spur with the Walters kit. Power plant, a uh, the Walters paper mill, which. It's flipped around where you can't even run a track inside. The... What do you think? So, fortunately, it is loose, which means that can be tweaked when the corset disappears in there. So, and then you got the logging branch. Run around right. Well, I can see it. Okay, run around right there. And your logs and then coming back along here real quick you got a depot yeah three track coal mine very nice nice setup whatnot but the thing is reach in distance hello reach in distance here yeah and then it uh, loops over there. So there's there's just a lot of a lot of little things around here that we gotta fix. But so that is this side of the layout. Let's head on over there and we'll have a look at the other side. So we're back here. You got shelves of stuff. Shelves and shelves and shelves. Ah, uh, so this would be one of the main fill yards, so pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, this is where it comes in. And you can see there's turnouts and stuff under there. And they didn't even put plywood under This was foam, and this whole thing had sagged, so we had, Rich had to go back and shim it up, and it was a mess. Um, yeesh, somebody did a bad job with the solder. Right here. But um you got this, which it's not much of a staging yard, but you can have somebody back here and actually adjusting stuff so it does work pretty well as a fiddle active fiddle yard. Um and you got all all this car storage which is which is awesome. Um I think ultimately we want some more down there, but it's pretty good operationally. And then this dips 
I don't know if she can see it. Probably not because it's a dark tunnel. But that pops out way, way over there by that town. And then you got all this. So. And that's not, that's hot glued. So there's no fixing this. Um, comes through here. Comes through here, comes through here, comes through here, comes through here. And you've got all this, which is fantastic. So, uh, first off, you got a whole port here, another car float, which again is pretty good. You got an air float down there, so you got multiple air change points. The only thing that I do not like about this coming from that direction you have to come through staging and it ruins the illusion of distance and whatnot and yeah and right there you can see old photos of all the We'll work on it. But this whole thing back here. A lot of cars. And we got all this. Yeah, it's great. My only my one and only complaint about this whole thing. Yes, yeah, look at the way the ladder's arranged. It's arranged stem bended, which means most of the traffic is the ladder is situated for most of the traffic going that way through the staging yard. And then that comes out over there. I would rather it came through this. Operationally I would rather it come through that. And put a you know a left right there and just have the ladder come down and whatnot. And then you got a uh, engine shed there, which that doesn't even come down to the level of it. So, yeah, whatever. But uh, you got a nice long industrial spur right there. So it it will get there. Like I said, right now the the big thing we're doing is trying to figure out the wiring uh, and getting that figured out because once we do that we take the track plan we put it into a straight line schematic that'll tell us where to make the gap the cut right in the middle for each of the different booster zones and then we figure the operational idea and that will give us an idea of where to put the circuit breakers and then once we get the circuit breakers in the districts cut then we can go back and we can start doing the sub buses and everything for the signaling so that's the plan. That's what we're looking at. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tour. You know what to do. Click, comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Get notified whenever I upload. And as always, everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video.